Hey friends, welcome back to Bitfumes and I'm your host Sarthak. You can also call me Ankur. In this episode, we are going to learn about many to many relationship of eloquent that is provided by Laravel. In the last two parts, we have discussed about the relationship of one to one, one to many. In this episode, we are going to learn many to many in a much similar way. You can see here that Laravel also provide documentation about many to many. If you are following me, then you will easily get all these things. But don't worry, I will show you all these things easily. And let's create a scenario where we can use many to many relationships. Suppose you have a user table and you have a role table. And what is the scenario that each and every user can be assigned many roles. And similarly, many roles can be attached with a user like if a user A has assigned as admin, it could be possible that B also has assigned as an admin. And it is also possible that B is also an editor and A is also an author. So you can see here A is also an admin and an author, B is an editor and an admin. And in reverse case, roles are attached to many users like admin role is attached with a and b user so this is the scenario many to many okay for that we need user table and role table but to connect these two tables we use role underscore user table and you can see here i have written role underscore table not user underscore role because laravel tells you that you have to make your connection table or the intermediate table in alphabetical order like role and user okay so let's create all these tables for creating we know that we can use migration and if you know all these things skip to that timing where i have started many to many and that timing is written on your right side so let's just create a migration for that i have to open my command prompt and I have to go to that folder and php artisan migration and make migration create users table and then create what users and you can see here I have written users not user because Laravel says that the table name must be plural okay hit enter and it is created now we will create roles table and we will type here roles hit enter migration of this table also created and the next thing we use role underscore user table okay so these three migrations are created so where are these migration in the database migration you can see here all these migrations are created so just create the schema for our table we know that in a user table there must be a name field and that name field will be a string okay in the role table we have name of that role that means simple role and it will also be a string but in role user table we use obviously we have to connect all these tables so we use user underscore id as integer and role underscore id so we have created all these table schema and just run migration that means php php artisan migrate hit enter and it will create all these tables okay so i'm on the tinker and we will just dump some data inside our table so we use db table table name is users and we will insert 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 what name insert name and that name will be we have to provide a curly brace square braces no name will be my name sarthak and next will be created created at at and that will be new date time 
and just copy this and paste here and this and this and this will be updated at now hit enter and it will return true and just create another user so replacing this and just next will be the roles table and we will insert the name of the role and role will be admin now hit enter and it will return true then second role will be editor and third role will be author okay i will create the data inside the role underscore user table and what for that i will say user underscore id oops role underscore id role id is one and role id is one for user obviously id one that means i have provided user one of a role id one then role id is obviously admin okay that's become true and also make this user uh, editor by typing role id 2 and just create user id 2 and make him also a editor and also a author okay so we can see all these data when we type app slash user user but wait we does not have created any model so it will give me error okay so for that we have to make a model so php artisan make model and model name is user next model name is role okay that's it not for role user okay now here comes the many to many part when we are here and here just say as we done before we say here roles okay and return return what this and we will type belongs to many and belongs to many for role class okay now just go to our controller and in home controller and we will say use app slash user and here we will say role is equal to user find first user and give me the role as we have done earlier now just check all these return role and we will see in our browser but for that we have to start our server so server will be started like this php artisan serve server is started so i will just go to that server and we will get nothing why why we are getting nothing because i have typed role but in user model i have given the function name is roles so here just type roles and all set refresh again and we will get the json array okay so here you can see that user id 1 role 1 user id 1 role 2 that means user 1 is an admin and a editor so let's find for user 2 for user 2 user 2 is editor and author not an admin okay now just reverse this process we will find the inverse of this like users in the role model we will type users and return this and again again the same thing like user class and for checking this we just use here use app slash role and instead of user i will type or i will just copy and paste this i will find one 
and this will also user users and instead of returning role i will return user and refresh and we will get for the role first how many users are one only for role two refresh and we will get two result because the second role is given to sarthak and Angur both okay so we have find here many to many is much more complex but that in that sense it is easy also okay so in the documentation of level you will find something more here you can see that we can have pivot what is pivot see here this pivot means the table which relates these two tables that means role table and model table is related to role underscore user table okay so that role underscore user table is here inside the pivot array so if you want the timestamp also you can do something like this you can do with pivot if we are on the role model if you are on the role model and we will say this and column name is created at then when when i refresh i will get created at from role underscore user table but if i want created at and updated at also you can type here updated at refresh and you can you will get updated at but there is a more cleaner way you can just type here time stamps and refresh and that's it no change because this is the correct way of getting the timestamp that means created at and updated at so you can see here the level is very much clever and it will provide you very very easy functions and this relationship to make your life easier so if you have any doubt please comment me if you want to learn something new just comment me and i will make video for you and please tell me how much you like my videos because your comments are encouraging me and just subscribe to my channel okay so bye